Okay, this time easy to boot, boot it up to its screen. Um, after I hit hit Control Alt Delete again when it was showing the Windows repair, so I'm going to put my helper in there. Now I don't know what I'm debating about here is I tried this once already like this, and it didn't have the helper drive. I was going to hit reboot. Then it's just going to try to see, see Sardu again. Well, no, not if I... Yeah, let's do that because I've already tried it this way. And so as far as I know, it won't work like that. I'll hit F11 and see if I'm seeing bo all my drives. And then I'll try booting to easy to boot again. Oh, I just about forgot to do it. Just keep on hitting it until it does something. Until it, because uh, you don't know exactly when you need to hit it. Oh, it's in the same state it was in. Hmm. So I had it recognized, but doing that made it not recognize it. I just hit Control Alt Delete. Let's hit F11 again. I'm starting earlier this time. You don't. I don't think you really need to start till you see that AS rock. Some machines are so fast, you have to start the instant that thing comes back around. Oh, it looks like there's more. Let's see. Yeah. Finally, finally, finally. So there's what it looks like when they're all there. Got my Maxtra hard drive. The other one's a ST, that's a uh, Seagate. CD drive, USB mass storage, that's it. SanDisk, and one of those SanDisk is just that, uh, it's a Sardu, the part of it was Sardu that'll boot, and the other one is that add-on partition. That's one reason why I always wanted to get that off of there, but I can't. It's made it from the factory, and I never found a way to get right privileges to delete it. Actually, I think I did. I think I was able to delete it. Yeah, I was able to delete it by just using root privileges in Linux, but then it just come back, so it didn't really delete. So anyway, uh, you have to remember, sometimes you just have to try both of them. I can't remember if it's the top one or the bottom one that, that actually would work. But anyway, what I want is my mass storage device, which is my 32 gigabyte easy to boot setup. And I believe that helper will just help now, hopefully that helper USB so if you're gonna do this you and you don't have anything on you any uh, sort any other bootable thing on your your other uh, USB stick you'd be a lot easier Windows install menu Windows 7 5 present finally now that I finally got it to boot I'm scared to not go ahead and do it Okay, home premium, x86, 64, so, yeah, professional, OEM for pro, professional, 64, for home premium, x86, and the bottom one, the one that's red now, is home premium, 64 bit. I'm going to go in there, because I want to know, let's see, don't I have to hit zero or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So if this boots up and looks like it's going to work, uh, you know, if I could at least. What's it saying? Loading. Error. Grub for .net, Inconsistent file system structure. Press any key to continue. That was what happened to me the first time. So there probably really wasn't anything wrong with that first uh, copy of... Uh, but as much trouble as I had copying it over... Wait a minute. Did I copy it back and then never run uh, Make Contiguous? May have. In my frantic push to try to make it work I'm 
might have uh, forgot to run that after I re I did I recopied it and I had all that trouble getting it to recopy I think what happened was uh, Crusader copied it in the background and probably the reason it wouldn't uh, it failed on copying in Windows XP virtual machines because it uh, it's already been being written same file being written by Crusader in the background even though I thought it had uh, wasn't writing so yeah I didn't make it contiguous so at least it's there now so if I go back in the Windows XP and make it contiguous maybe it'll be alright if not I had to delete it and try to recopy it again I think I'm done for today now I'll probably go try to make it contiguous and uh, then I'm gonna get off of here enough fun for one day man sometimes this learning experience turns into an aggravation experience okay bye